Hello everyone and welcome in PLUS, your soft tech business. We provide a Frisco training, consulting and maintenance of the Frisco ECM. In this tutorial, today I will share with you the lesson number six in our second model of a Frisco end users section. This lesson will, co will cover some topics. It will be about managing groups. I will show you how to create and edit the groups. Managing groups lets you know how to create a new group and how to edit it. Creating a group. Let's follow these steps to learn how we can create a group. First thing, we need to click on Admin Tools. Then click on Groups. On the Group page, click on the Browse. Navigate the user group where you want to create the new group. Complete the required files fields. Click on create a group. Before going to see how we can edit our groups, we need to learn how to show you how to create a group. Then let's move to our Frisco application. So on our dashboard, our Frisco dashboard, like I said to you before, we need to click on Admin Tools. After that, we need to go to Groups in the left side of the page. After clicking on the Groups button, we need to click on the Browse button. When we click on the Browse button, the groups displayed. So this is the groups um, which are available in our, our Frisco. So for adding more groups, we need to click on this icon, plus icon. It's called New Group. We need to give some information about our group. We don't differ. For example, um, it will be training. Display name. I need to give a name to my group. The name will be Alfresco, for example, Alfresco and users and user, yes. And I click on create a group. If I want to create another group directly when I create this one, so I need to click on create and create another, like we've seen it before on user how to create a new user. So me, I want only one group. So I click on create a group. Let's see if I, we will find our new group in this list. Yeah, a physical end user and the um, identifier is training. So now let's move to see the steps how to edit our group. Editing the groups. Edit a user group to change the group's display name. Once created, you cannot edit the group's identifier. Means, when you want to edit the groups, you can edit only the display name. The steps are 
First, you need to click on Admin Tools. Then, click on Groups. Then, click on Browse. Navigate the Groups structure or use the Search feature to locate the user group you want to edit. Choose the desired group to display its available actions and then click on Edit Group icon. Edit the group's display name and click on Save Changes. Let's see how we can edit our group. So, I will return to home and I will show you how to follow the steps. Like we did before, admin tools. Then groups. After cl clicking on groups, let's click on browse. We can see now which, or we can choose which group we want to edit. Uh, I want to edit the group that I created last time, a Frisco end user. So I click on this icon called Edit Group. I, like I said before, I can change only the display name of the group. So for example, I will call it um, a Frisco end user A Frisco end user lessons or teaching lessons and a save changes. So let's see. Yes, you see, a Frisco end user teaching lessons. Now I edit my group. Um, last time I promised you to show you uh, how to add a user in a group. Last time, if you remember, we created Tommy as a user and I told you that I will show you how to add it in a group when we will move to the group uh, creating a lesson or how to create a group. So now we learn how to create a user, how to create a group. Now let's move to see how to add our user in the group. So for that, we need, for that, for that, we need to go to users. Okay, and here we uh, uh, we need to to give our, the name of our user that we want it to be in the group. So if you remember last time, uh, we create a user called Tommy. Search a Tommy. We click on the name of Tommy, and after that we go to edit user. So we filled all the information for Tommy, about Tommy. Now let's uh, add this user inside the group. So we came here in this uh, box or dashlet, groups, and we click on search to find which, uh, which group we wanted for this user. I need to give um, at least one character name used for the group. So uh, our group is Alfrisco, Alfrisco and users. Uh, 
Yes, this one. A fresco and user teaching lessons. So I click here on add. Now my Tommy user is inside this group called our Fisco and user teaching lessons. We don't, we don't forget to save changes as well. Click on save changes. So now um, we well, today in this tutorial we learned how to create a user, oh, sorry, how to create a group how to edit a group and how to add our user in the group. So I, so I hope that will be, that was easy for you. So thank you for watching and for further listen, please visit plusyoursoftech.com. The URL is given below in the description. Thank you and see you.